I think I underestimated how little I really knew about DIY. Moving excitement has now just moved into like <laughs> time. The mice are currently not here because their droppings are very, very old. And there we are, Zara's curtain poles are done. Well, hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to a little weekend vlog of house updates. This one's quite a special one because my mum's come to visit. So she's with us. Good morning. She's with us. Hello. Good morning. And where are we taking her the first place? Ikea, the wonderful everyday. I hate it. <laughs> we actually have like a list. So there is things that we really do need. So we've been forming this list knowing that we've got a trip to Ikea coming very soon. So yeah, we're actually coming to Ikea now for things rather than just doing it as a pastime. I just don't want to like tour Ikea. No, I we've got a list. I don't want to be Thank staring you. at the Thank rooms. It I'm going to get a mad. coffee first um, and maybe a cinnamon bun. I'm Ooh, quite hungry. Ikea they're nice. I've had them before with you. No, they're really nice. I wanted a, a pasta. Oh. Yes, yeah, so we've got a list like bathroom storage, kitchen storage, and a couple of little bits and bobs. But then um, we've got a whole other list of things that we need to do. We need to put curtains on the wall. It's another work and weekend, but we're going to have a little bit more of a relaxed one. Oh, these things always stress me out with IKEA. Oh, I'm on this one. Um, we're having a bit more of a relaxed weekend, but it's going to be very, very productive. So um, yeah. I hope you're in the mood for that. And we're also going to put the Christmas tree up tomorrow too. So it's going to be, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be a good one. It's not <laughs> Straight away. How much are they? £5.95. Yeah, but look how many again. You two are the worst. Put them down. Put them down. Put them. Right. Anyway, off we go. We are still on the hunt for sofas and we're just pricing up some of IKEA. They are nice. We've just sat down on this. It's very lovely. It looks quite squidgy, doesn't it? It is comfy. We need it. Mm. Cozy. <laughs> I like the red as well. How, oh my goodness, this is kind of like what the, um, the the idea of the bookcases that we're going to do with the red. That is very nice. So we're just looking at some IKEA Pax wardrobes. We are going to be doing these in the house in future, but obviously because we've got such high ceilings, we really want to make the most of the space, and they're actually really reasonably priced as well. Yeah, they would be. If they do them higher than that, then yeah, for sure. Really good. So we just had an IKEA breakfast. I've never had one of them before. And it was really nice. It refueled us. So we've wrote down all of the locations of where we need to buy the stuff from in the um it's like the marker hall, what's it called? Yeah, the marker hall. And then we've got some picture frames and door hooks and then we're done. It was a whistle stop to uh, not like the usual vlogs where we come and take a look at everything because we've got a lot to do and it's already 11 a.m. so we need to get as much done in the daylight as we can. IKEA have got all of their Christmas wrapping in. Love that. Ooh. We've got all our wrapping paper. Very cool. So red raffia is really nice as well. I like that. Oh, that's nice. Oh gosh, we're not here for Christmas, but we've somehow landed in Tinseltown. Here we go. Gonks. I spy gonks. You having a great time, Mum? <laughs> Not an essential, but we should get it. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Need. It's it's not a it's not in a it's a need, really. <laughs> Those mini Christmas trees are nice. Oh my good lord. What in God's name is going on here? S the pair of you. <laughs> so this is where the fun begins, where we try and find the aisles. So I've taken a photo of where we need to go. So we've got a bathroom cabinet and some kitchen shelves. So here we go. Successfully done. We have everything. Cyrus is using the loo. Oh, here she is. There we are. We're done. Oh, hello, Maggie. Hello. All about the excitement. Uh, get, get, get down. Get down. All of the um, moving excitement has now just moved into like <laughs> tired. <laughs> Mum was behind the camera in the window. Just, just be a man. And I bought this cute plant in IKEA. What are you like? <laughs> And I bought this cute plant in Ikea. We already had the plant pot, but yeah, I think that could be really nice. We're all just sat yawning. We're gonna have a hot drink. Try and psych up some kind of energy. And uh, start on curtain poles. Have a dime bar. A dime bar, oh my God, where are they? I want one now. You don't even like dime. Being told what I like now, apparently. I don't like dime. We have new gardening gloves as well. So I have the smallest hands. They're so ever. cute. They've got little ladybirds on them. We've had to buy my gloves in it age seven to nine kids. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Tiny hands. Like that is genuinely. So these are for Maggie, look at the paw prints all over the floor now. Do they fit? 
suits you. They're actually a bit big, but look, oh my seven God. to nine. Stop it. So these are obviously for when we get out in the garden. So we've got some bramble brushes that we need to tackle. Where's the rake, mum? In the corner. We now have a garden rake. Maggie's gonna lose her mind over this, are you ready? So this is for all of the leaves. <laughs> oh Whoa. mom, that's not for me. Oh. <laughs> Woo. So this is for all of the leaves in the garden. That's quite satisfying, isn't it? We've got a big tree in the garden, so we need to make sure that we get all the leaves up just to make it a little bit more tidier. Okay, so we've just made a hot drink. I've got a very good new mug. This was from Katie Zara's friend. It says head chef, because I am. So we're doing a bit of a swap around. We were gonna do hanging picture room. Um, what was the picture of curtain poles? But in all honesty, I don't think we've got it enough to do and I really don't wanna mess it up. It's a pretty big job. So we're gonna do slightly less intrusive things to do. Hanging artwork. We've already started the process. So this is the piece of artwork that we got in Venice. So we're doing the Campari and Martini prints over there. We're gonna pop a lovely circle mirror that I got in Home Sense, which is this one here. And then this wall clock we're gonna pop on this wall here. I'm gonna go get the tools from the shed and then we need to clean, clean, sort out the understairs cupboard because we just put so much extra wood in there and, and build some kitchen shelves. Oh yeah, we need to build the shelves as well. Look at that! How nice does that look? Yeah. Do you love them? Yeah, really nice. How nice. The last time I checked in with you, we were putting a mirror on the wall that went disastrously wrong because we found out that the wall we were trying to put the mirror on wasn't actually brick, it was breeze block. So that was fun. So let me show you what we're dealing with currently. So I managed to pop one nail in correctly. Well, screw. And then the second one was slightly out. I should have measured, but in my tired brain, I didn't. I measured the distance on the mirror and not the distance on the wall, if that makes sense. So I ended up popping the wall plug in the wrong place, tried to remove the wall plug, and ended up pulling half of the wall out. So i filled it temporarily, we're going to refill it and repaint and try again, but obviously it needs to dry. So while that was doing that, those pictures are on the wall, we're really happy with them. And then I was like, do you know what, let's tackle the understairs cupboard. So, this is actually afterwards, it might look very full and awful and scary, but in pulling everything out, found that we had loads of mice droppings in here, so pulled it all out, hoovered it all, put underlay down and then porcelain tiles on top. The mice are currently not here because the droppings are very, very old. So we've taken the unit that was from in here. Zara's has built this new one. So this is now our like pantry, essentially. Well, an extension of a pantry. And then these bits are the bits that we don't really want to see. So like Maggie's food, cleaning products, just bits and bobs like that, clothes area. So it's not pretty, but it's functional. And now we've got all of that extra storage and that little battery powered light. So. It's very good for now, that'll do. And then in here, this is effectively gonna be all of like kitchen things rather than cleaning stuff. So dry store supplies, posters, grains, flour, that type of stuff. Right, we're taking a lunch break. Very late lunch break, quarter to four lunch break, but this is some French onion soup I made yesterday. It's absolutely delicious. Might not look appetizing, but with a bit of crusty bread. It's gorgeous, well deserved. Okay, I've just showered after my mice fiasco. That was not pleasant, but it's done. We've done so much you still today. Smell like droppings. I, honestly, I've never felt more disgusting, but I'm so glad that we fully boxed that off. Upstairs in Zara's room, when the hall was there, we actually used wire wool and expanding form, so they're not coming back. We are now a mice free house. Anyway, um, I'll show you all the bits and bobs we've done because we've just put the bathroom cabinet on the wall. It looks so nice. So I'll show you that in the morning and the daylight, but this evening, we ordered an Indian takeaway because we've got a new local Indian that's delicious. It's gonna be the third time we've ordered from them. They are 
so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So, well, so nice. Well, there's to be on a ban. Yeah, no more Indian. Now that family have visited, no more Indian. But you know what we haven't had yet? What's that? The Chinese. Yeah, there's a place for the Chinese that's <laughs> really, really good. As Ara's friend recommended it. You see, I do like Chinese, mm. but I prefer Thai. Yeah, Thai. They, this Thai Chinese. Yeah, our old Chinese. Mum's also, so basically this no, is the... No, so this, this is like, this is bad, look at that. The mice had them. Stop it. Mum's had to drag the armchair here because the new season of The Crown is out, so this is pretty Diana heavy and we are Diana stands in this household so and I don't have Netflix no mum doesn't have Netflix so we're fully gonna sit back kick back relax because we've earned it with some Indian food and a little beer so I'll catch you guys in the morning it's Sunday morning time is five past eight I know that because we have a clock on the wall now <laughs> you might recognize this from the old place it's Aaron has woken Maggie and Grinch this morning so mum and I are just cracking on first task of the day is to level some doors, which is going to be fun. Having come from a flat with very little tools, we didn't really need very many tools to be fair. I've had to buy a door plane, so it's a good thing to have for future projects. But I don't really have like a table or a vice or something, so we're just going to do it on a rug inside and just hoover up afterwards. So that's fine, so here goes nothing. We fell at the first hurdle. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be, I'd be, wouldn't be true to myself if I said I didn't find that incredibly stressful. So I've just, we got the door, tried to assemble the tool. The tool made no sense to me. I've never used that tool in my life. And um, I think in life you have to learn sometimes things are just probably worth popping aside and coming back to when your head is a little bit clearer because I just went and spent an hour and a half in the garden trying to just breathe. <laughs> Um, and Maggie's really helpful, as you can see. <laughs> I um, I think I underestimated how little I really knew about DIY, and I think that's all about a learning process. So, what better thing to do than um, well, try and put up some big window curtain poles that I've never done either. So, here goes nothing. I'll probably look back at these vlogs and do a couple of things. You were doing all right, Miss. You're giving yourself a hard time, but I think I just want to at least be able to do something. So here you goes. So it's quite tricky to um, show the process of this because obviously we currently have no curtains up and I just want to keep the road that we live on I kind of offline if that makes sense. So we're getting there. So this is the top part. So I've popped in four bracket, no five brackets in total and then I just need to do two more and then we need to saw down the metal curtain rod slightly. Um, we actually do need some curtains to be fair. We've just got some sheer oils at the minute but so far it's going well and um, progress is slow but we're getting there. And there we are, we have one curtain pole fitted. That took slightly longer than I thought, but it's done. The curtains obviously aren't staying like these. These are just ones from our old flat. Obviously we were on a second floor, so we didn't really need the privacy because we didn't overlook anything, whereas obviously we do now. So curtains will definitely be on the list of things we need to buy pretty soon, but I'm very, very happy with how this has turned out. So we need to now do it upstairs in Zara's bedroom and then her additional window too, and then we're done. And there we are, Zara's curtain poles are done. I did these so much quicker in comparison to the ones downstairs. This literally took half the time because I knew what I was doing. So really chuffed with these. The brass is fab as well. So I'm gonna link them down below also if you are in the market. We are gonna get curtains eventually. It's on the list, but they're so much money. So these will do for now. They give us a little bit of privacy but I'm really impressed with these. And this is the secondary pole as well. So this is on the slightly smaller window. So obviously we've got two beer windows and then a singular one. And again, yeah, really impressed. They came with the curtain hooks too. So I think the antique brass is a really timeless touch that we'll just keep and love and adore. And in time we will do shutters and some window trim, but for now, really, really love these. So this is the bathroom unit. Zara actually built this yesterday. This was from Ikea and we're really, really happy with it. We thought if we spent a little bit more, so this was 75 pounds rather than the slightly cheaper ones, we could actually repurpose this when we come to do the bathroom because this is really in keeping with the style that we like. The reeded glass is lovely and it's got the magnetic pull handle. So we've just got all of our bits and bobs that we wouldn't really want on shore, but it's just so smart and obviously it really uses the space very well. So we've mounted it above 
the loo and you've got room for your towels and bits and bobs underneath. It's just really, really nice and we're very impressed with it. IKEA have the best storage and obviously with it being on slope as well, we were gonna get like a ladder shelf but we wanted it to keep the floor as clear as possible. So really, really chuffed with this. I'll leave it linked down below if you are in the market for a bathroom unit because it's really good value and I think it looks quite smart. It looks a lot more expensive than it actually was. Right, I'm officially done. I'm very, very happy. It is half past three. Started at like half past nine this morning, which doesn't sound like a lot of time, but we've got good jobs done. So I was just mopped all the floors and the garden is looking much more tidier and leaf free, which is good. Picked off all the brambles. We're having spaghetti bolognese for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna make a start on that. And we are decorating the Christmas tree, which I know sounds ridiculous, but Christmas is fast approaching. Like, I can't believe where this year is going. It's crazy, so. We're gonna do the small Christmas tree, not the big one. We're doing the slightly smaller, more like extra Christmas tree, and that's gonna go on the kitchen. So it's gonna be very nice. It's nice to be able to do it with mum as well. So yeah, I just need to go and have a shower, because I actually haven't showered today, which is really gross. Welcome to the life of just getting stuff done. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go and have a shower. Mum just got these flowers from the shop. How nice are they? Here's a little present. They are beautiful, very colorful. They go with the Candles, we just put them in a little vase. How nice are they? We were just having a well-earned cup of tea, we've had a shower, and um, we're having one of these Waitrose Belgian chocolate orange biscuits. They're so good. We've literally nearly finished one packet already. That's my half-eaten one there with a cup of tea. I feel frazzled. And then we're gonna decorate the Christmas tree. That'll make me feel festive. We also start the crown lesson. Did I say we were watching the crown? No, we did. We started the crown last night. We watched three episodes. It's really, really good. It's obviously sad, because it's dealing with topic of Diana but it was very good I am I'm very much enjoying it so tea tree and then tea or oh, dinner bolognese actually shall I start on the bolognese now I'll start on the bolognese okay and then I'll do bolognese because then can dip it oh yeah I forgot about that oh is it not go on the understairs cupboard that's now nicely organized I love this pantry it looks so good this is Maggie's new colors I got it for today Look how snazzy McDazzy that is. She's got some lovely little silver bones. Don't you look pretty? She oh, me. right. I'm gonna have a tea then, and then I'll make spaghetti bolognese. We were just having our cups of tea, and Zara couldn't wait, so she picked out the box. This is, I know I said one year I didn't want to call it the tacky tree, but like it just fully is the tree of tack. Like there is no theme, there is there is no place for that on a tree, other than a tree that is tacky. Agreed, but then there's like a coffee machine and like a camera and a Santa that Christine Zara's auntie knitted, which is lovely, and then some nail shimmer and a mm. lovely Santa bell and a gonk on some skis and a heart and just all doesn't really match, but I love it equally and the same. So this, this, this is just, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, that's a thing in itself. Got some little nutcrackers. The whole shebang. So this is our newest one this year. Yeah, this was Zara got. This was from John Lewis, right? Mm -hmm. That we um, what is that? A reindeer? Yeah, he's got a red nose. See, I thought it was a mouse. Well, it looks like a mouse with a red nose, doesn't it? Oh, anyway, keep the same with the mice. Yeah, so the Christmas tree is just there. So I think it's like, is it going in that corner? Mm. Yeah. So we'll just get the um extension lead out and pop it in there, and then I think it will look really nice. Someone's excited to decorate the Christmas tree. We're matching. So we've decided it's going to go in this corner here, but there's no power outlet, so I need to just pull the bookcase out slightly and um, plug it in behind. Oh, let me show the artwork, actually. So we made this. So this was actually found under the floorboards, quite hard to see, of the um, front bedroom. So it's an old packet of cigarettes, player's cigarettes. And then this is the first champagne cork we popped when we moved in. So we've, I glued it to um, a piece of card. I think that's a really cool piece of um, piece of memory. Oh, it's hard to see. Piece of memorabilia. Anyway, we have found the eucalyptus. When we were moving, I was like, I will find. It. Sorry, it might, no one might even know what we're talking about. I lost this eucalyptus when I was trying to find it for the autumnal decor video. We found it. We found it. It was in the Christmas tree box, of course, because that makes sense. <laughs> right, trees going up. Lights are in. Here we go.
No, that's from Bath. You have to go back. You silly boy, what were you doing? I was trying to target. Well, you didn't try very well. Yeah, the tree is done. We've put Maggie's little M on top of it because she is the queen of this household. That was from anthropology. I think we got that maybe last year. I think it was last year. Anyway, look how lovely this looks at me. So unbelievably happy with that. I think it looks great. I love that we've got the piece of artwork and the easel there. <laughs> That's not staying there. That, that we actually didn't paint. That's from the old place. But um, we've just been testing some things out to see what it'll look like. But um, yeah, so pleased with this. How lovely. Dinner is served, we've got the porgs on and spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Sarah's off to screen, nice. Beautiful. Lovely. Is that not the Google? No, Google's in the living room. How good does this bolognese look? We've been cooking this for the last two hours while we're decorating the tree. It's all looking very festive. Okay, so it's two days after the end of the last clip. My mum went back to Durham. It was so nice to spend some time with her and obviously she could help with the house as well. And we got really in like the festive mood. And then I came to edit this vlog and realised I didn't finish the vlog with an end clip with my mum. Was, she really was like, let me say goodbye to everyone, but we completely forgot. And um, so she sends her love to you all. She said she's watching all of the moving vlogs at home and reading all of your lovely comments as well. So thank you all so, so much. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. There's lots more house videos and festive videos coming very soon. So keep your eyes out for that. Lots of love to you all. Thank you all so, so, so much for all of your lovely comments. It's honestly making my life. It's just so, so nice. So lots of love to you all. Take care. And I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.